everyone has acknowledged the group as an original sound. We've heard them throughout the show. Now meet Joey, Johnny, Dee Dee, and Marky Ramon. Audience here. Now, let me ask you, you, you started out in New York about five years ago, and you came in with something that we're calling now New Wave Music. Did you do this as a, a reflection back on the old rock music, or were you trying to do something completely new? Well, we started, <laughs> we started about seven years ago now? Seven years ago? About seven years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and I think we recorded our first album, and I think that's that was about, about five, five years. years. That's right. Um, I think what was missing was all the fun and excitement and the energy of rock and roll, so I we wanted to do something new, but we wanted to look back and see all the good things that had been done. Yeah. And so you really, you were really pulling from the past, getting the best of the past. Well, you have to be influenced by something. You're influenced by everything that's gone down in rock and roll since it started. What were some of the major influences on you as a group forming? Uh, I suppose like hit singles. All the groups that had hit singles. Just, so. just the major top 40 uh, rock and roll that you grew up with. Right. Yeah. I mean things like you know uh, surf music, the Beatles, all the early English invasion, yeah. uh, other things too, like the Stooges. And yeah. Now, what, was, what would, you, would you consider, is there one moment that you considered a break, the big break, did that happen for you? No. This, this is our big break. This is it tonight. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of break it is. Probably, this is more like a multiple injury, I mean, multiple leg injury rather than a break, but yeah. You're listening, you see if you have some questions, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have been trying to become superstars for a long time now, and by getting Phil Spector on your latest album, I thought you thought that would do it, and apparently it had not. Are you going to try something different on your upcoming one, and also, do you blame Sire Records for failing to promote you properly? Well, we didn't, we, it wasn't all right. I mean, Phil Spector pr approached us three years uh, before, you know, because he admired and respected the band, and, uh, you know, he expected what we've done and how we've, you know, how we've um, influenced the whole movement, uh, like, like the music we, we've, we've, we're playing now we, um, is our kind of trademark. You know, it's, our, it's something we, de we developed ourselves, you know. And we went over to England in 76 when they were into pub rock, Dr. Feelgood type music, and, um, and kicked off a whole new form of music, you know. Some people call it new wave or punk or whatever, but it's just rock and roll. You know, it's it's exciting rock and roll music the way it should be played anyway. You know, I mean, it's I mean rock and roll isn't Billy Joel or Linda Ronstadt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, right. I think uh, also oh, yeah. we just we're more into doing what we believe in rather than just do something to become superstars, yeah, well, something like that. Uh, like compromise in some way. And. Uh, we just do what we believe in, so we don't really need to make a next step to become superstars. Yeah, we have yeah. A, our fans are really great, and we're happy doing what we're doing. You do have some loyal fans, I can vouch for it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here comes the death wish. How do your parents feel about your success? Well, they all started bands too. <laughs> Is that right? Did you have some music tradition in the families? For some of you? No. 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 Not at all. No. Yeah. Do you think new wave music will be around for a while? Um, I guess they'll just evolve into something else, uh, you know. Uh -huh. Have you, has your music changed? Have you felt a big change in your music since you started out the seven uh, years ago? Not a big change. I mean, each album, you want to make each album a little different and you have to grow and yeah. things like that and hopefully not lose track of what you set out to do to but, begin with. But we really noticed the influence on major, bigger bands like Queen and, you know, Led Zeppelin, people like that. They're, they're more uh, concerned now about writing good songs, the Rolling Stones, rather than putting one good song on and 14 fillers or 12 fillers, you know, and people seem to be trying a little harder these days, too. Yeah. Know. Well, it's a leaner business out there, and it takes that, that, that dedication to it, I guess. Yeah. I just want to know from Dee Dee and Joey, you're not really in love with Riff Randall, are you? Please say your name, please. Riff Randall. Riff Randall. Tell us Who's she? Oh, I yes. And another question, Mickey? <laughs> She's married. Uh, I gather that you think... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. I gather that you think uh, rock and roll has declined since the 50s. Why do you think that is? Well, it's declined since the late 60s when, uh, I guess, when drugs became real big. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> groups started, like, overindulging and they got away from uh, playing rock and they just got into writing, you know, playing 20-minute songs and things like that. Uh, and then the radio just became a big business and pushed mediocrity on uh, young people. 
Like we were talking about earlier. Right, okay. right. right. All right, thank you very much. You know, the, the, whether you're a Ramones fan or a Bach addict, the message of music always moves. Now, before we go, the Ramones will sing one last song, and this is called, I Want to Be Sedated. I'm Fred Newman. I want to be sedated. Thank <laughs> you.